Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Sagittarius, welcome to your December reading. General energies and let's say you are the kings and the queens this month. The sun is in your zodiac sign. Jupiter, it's there. Venus is there. Mercury is there. So, seems quite a month, loves. As well, by the end of the month, Mercury goes retrograde, but that's not really referring on you, but more likely in a Capricorn season. As you know, we're moving late on in Capricorn. And that is happening on the 29th of December. But speaking of, in the beginning of the month, we do have a full moon in Gemini, which is the opposite zodiac sign of yours. And, you know, it's kind of like parallel with you speaking. A lot, a lot of things here, a lot of choices, a lot of energies here are shifting. As well, you know, Geminis are ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication, the planet of movement as well. You know, Mercury is in your zodiac sign for quite a little bit. So enjoy it, loves. Enjoy it. Seems like a beautiful month for many, many Sages, especially for... For those of you who need to do certain things and feels like, well, they can't wait. So yes, there's a lot of action, but also, you know, you guys been ruled by Jupiter as Jupiter is the plant of expansion, but at the same time of excesses. So you could expand beautifully, but know the limit or know where you can push more or where you can not. And the planet of excesses this month seems like um, a lot of holidays, a lot of things, a lot of movement around and be careful to not do certain things way too much. Probably around the holidays to not spend as much or more than you can afford. So later on you might feel like, well, why did I did that and so on for others of you. If you are doing a great lifestyle, eating healthy, this month, you might feel like, well, will not hurt, believe it or not. When you're moving later on, you'll feel like, well, I wish to not do that. So it's quite a month with certain contrasts, a little contrast here, a little contrast there, but we can manage it. We are Sagis and nothing can be way too hard for us. Let's see here, Sagis how this month is and I want to say thank you for all of you who did suggest this reading to be first done for this month as usually we do in another reading but this month seems a little different kind of as many many of you you do know I am a Sun Sagittarius as well and yes we quite identify pretty well all right, Sagittarius, as overarching energy for the month. What do we have for you? Five of Pentacles underneath, Page of Swords here, and Chariot. There is a lesson learned and there is movement, yet you are not quite sure if this movement you have or do will work out beautifully because for whatever you leave behind. Yes, Page of Swords is learning um, a lesson, is a learning process, but the Chariot very strong speaks, don't look back because look at this Page of Swords, how it look like at this Page of Pentacles. I lost this, I did this, I need to do this, but the Chariot is kind of like, my dear Sag, why are you still looking backwards? that you are not going there. Many, many times even the chariot is very strongly speaking of a car moving. So the car, yes, we have reverse mirrors. They are small in to compare the, the window we are looking forward. So I feel here for some Sages, instead of looking backwards, gotta look forward. Because also Chariot is a big yes major arcana card. And the universe encourages you to leave whatever here is. Didn't work, didn't work. You needed to move on, it's okay. Lesson learned, let's move on. The first card we have Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Magician, 
and the Knight of Wands. Look at this, loves. Very much depends on you. As well, done with the waiting for for some Sag, it's the, the first week, as you see here, we ally the all weeks here, the first, second, third, and fourth. I feel here there is certain things here that learn the lesson, move on, you can do much better. Magician and Chariot as Major Arcanas very much speaks of there is much more ahead of you and it's something here you manifest, especially when you manifest new things, new beginnings. Look at this Knight of Wands. Things can move beautifully forward. But let's see here. The Seven of Pentacles clarifier. We have Four of Cups. Strength. Six of Pentacles. For some of you, you will understand whatever here didn't work anyway was not good or was not stable or needed so much balance that was not really up to you. You tried your best or you can try as much as you can or as as best as you can, but you knew that was not. And, you know, with the moon here, it's kind of like was more that you couldn't see than was whatever you can see, okay? And I feel here for some of you was that fear of, I am better than this. I can do this. But that's done and over. Look at this death card. Very strongly speaks like done being afraid, done being the strongest, done being doing your best and the best and the best when you clearly can't see. So the death energy very strongly speaks here that this is done. And when death we have, yes, something here needs to be purged. It's a dead end. It's a cool du sac energy that might not really need to be pushed more and more and more. Why you are in this five of pentacles, two of wands? I needed to make a decision. For some of you, you you kind of with this page of swords, you, you are looking for other ways. Maybe something else, maybe this, maybe that, maybe a different solution will come again. And you feel like, you know, I need to make a decision. I still and feel this way or I'm just gonna forward move. Queen of Wands. So very, very strongly speaks of you loves making this decision of cutting this loss behind. It is okay. We all learn. We are all going through certain things, but you know, it's hard to believe that certain things happens to us and it's up to us to make it out of best. But you know, many times, yes, certain things here are not necessary on us, but it's on us how we stand up. The Page of Swords clarifier, Three of Swords. It's kind of hurts to leave it behind, but look at this, Temperance, Mar Archangel Michael, there is healing. It's like, breaks my heart to leave this behind. Breaks my heart to not put any more effort. Breaks my heart to, to cut this off. So I feel here that it's something emotional that really, that re it's really hard to let it go. But look at this. For some of you, there is this offer here. And I will put this card so you can see better. So it is this offer here, which transform into something much bigger. And you, you're still looking like maybe, maybe I will keep doing better here and there. And then just kind of like, it's kind of you realize at the end that I'm afraid I need to let it go because I wait for so long and doesn't really go the way it needs to. The Knight of Wands here, clarifier, we have Ten of Swords, Three of Wands, Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Wheel. So look at this, loves. Yes, you've gone through a failure. It's the end. Ten of Swords speaks of this is done long ago. When we have the tense in a reading that very strongly speaks of this is done, the worst is behind, 
whatever was heavier, it's behind. And you manifest something here, you ask the universe for something new, whatever that is, and the universe offers. The fact is there is still that conflict probably that I'm not sure if this is good or I'm not really very hard into this or I'm not 100% is in here. But the Wheel of Fortune very strongly speaks here. This is in your destiny. This is for you to move you forward. And I feel here the, the universe intervention very strongly speaks of don't hold back because someone here says certain things. Just go forward. Just trust the universe. Whatever here you asked is given to you. Don't look. Don't look backwards. Don't look whatever whomever says whatever they says. Look what you have right in front of you. And with the Queen of Cups here, it's more allowance, allowing so the things to move with the flow, so that things can move forward with your life. Because for some of you, you'll be quite surprised that within one year from now, you'll be very far away from where you are right now. And looking backwards, as we all do, at some point in life and you'll feel like goodness what I was thinking to hold on on that craziness energy so it seems here that the universe tries to bring all this but yes looks like a bumpy energy here for you to to allow and for some of you it is hard to allow, not only because it's, you are conflicted deep inside, but more likely you are not quite sure. It's kind of like, I don't want to go in the next failure, or it's kind of from a failure to another, or from a craziness to another. But the universe is telling you, not my dear, you're not going to have this. Uh-uh. Trust me. I'm glad seeing the, the Wheel of Fortune here and the death. Look at this. Whatever things are ending are meant to end. Are meant to change you and to put you into your right path. So the Sag I'm speaking here and feels like this resonates. You are into the right path. Don't even doubt it. Don't even doubt it. So don't hold back. Whatever, whomever say to you, it's kind of been harder, been through a hardship. And nobody been in your shoes, clearly. And nobody wants to be there. Let's see. I will ask the spirit what this opportunity that you're manifesting it. Because it seems here you're manifesting it, but the spirit is still like, you will get it unless you leave this behind. So whatever it is here, the Ace of Pentacles clarifier for my Sagittarians, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Fool. And underneath we have the Hierophant. So whatever here is offered to you, it's the beginning of something grounded, stable, and beautiful. Taurus energy here with the Hierophant. For some of you, it could be a, a job, career proposal. And I feel here it's so joyful. With this Three of Cups, looks like a celebration, like the opportunity I asked and wanted. And the Queen of Pentacles is something here that really will suit you beautifully. And the Fool, it's kind of like worth the try. Worth to adventure in. 
All right, loves. And look at these three queens. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. The one is missing its Queen of Swords. We do have the Page of Swords. However, Queen of Swords speaks of very strongly. For some of you, you might feel the need of asking guidance from someone or ask someone what do you think for some of you could have an advisor for some of you you go to to someone who will advise you what should i do in this case i have this opportunity looks awesome it's something here i always wanted what should i do and i feel here the queen of swords whoever you asking for some of you you might ask yourself and you require to be honest. And the Queen of Swords is the one who says honestly the things as they are. They're not sugar coating. They are someone who will tell you straightforward. This is it. You like it. Great. No. Leave it. And so on. So definitely here it's a very strong energy of what works for you. Because swords are, are your thoughts. And very strong speaks like, what do you think it's good for you at this time? Or will benefit you on a mental level, will stimulate you on a mental, will excite you over there to go forward. Why not? Taking a risk. And I feel here many, many of you Sages are quite agreeing. Well, the opportunity is there. Let's try it on. And I feel here with the fool, it's kind of like, well, sounds really good to me. I will try it. Because for some of you later on, you might found that this is something I always needed and wanted. All right, loves. Let's hear a best advice for you for this kind of month. We have Page of Pentacles. Definitely there is a, a kind of offer, a kind of opportunity there with the Page of Pentacles. Yet it's in the beginning because pages are beginnings as the aces. And it looks quite positive. Nine of Wands. You, you most likely may feel like what that is for. Uh, what that will enhance me, what that will bring me anything. Because you, again, many, many of you, you might feel like I don't want to dwell in the same old, same old patterns. But my darlings, the Empress very strongly speaks of there is quite great expansion. And yes, with the Devil and the Empress, this is crazy expansion. So my advice is yes could work beautifully but the devil and the empress this could be quite a crazy expansion whatever that is whatever the opportunity is take it slow because i feel here taking it slow having consistency in it will expand beautifully for the long long time yes the devil speaks of excesses Certain things here might feel like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But the Empress very strongly speaks of whatever it's presented, it's, it's meant to grow. It's meant to move forward beautifully in a positive way. But very strongly depends how you take it, how you stick with it. Whatever that opportunity, whatever that proposal is there. And having in your reading the... The strength and the devil. For some of you, you are kind of like paying a karmic debt, doing so, accepting so, and allowing. Because for some of you, might be like, oh, I, I don't really need this. Because require this and that and whatever. But believe it or not, the Empress very strongly speaks of there is much more for you to explore than you can think. And look at this. King of Wands. So this is you, loves. This is you. Whatever actions you take, that's what you get later on. All right. The advice from the oracles for my Sagittarius. Goodness. 
Sagittarius, where are you going? Look at this, the number four. Number four, it's all about stability. The bad girl spirit, very strong speaks. Be fearless and bold. Don't be afraid to do what you think, what you think, Queen of Swords, it's good for you. Be fearless and bold, loves. And trust in the divine detours. That very strong speaks like, for many of you, you will understand later on why certain things didn't work back then and why now will do. That's the divine detours. Because I feel here spirit were preparing you for something marvelous, bigger. So be fearless and bold us. Be fearless and bold. And Sagis, that's how your month looks like. I hope this resonates. I hope this speaks to you. And if that's, let us know. Comment below, share your feedback. If you don't really want to be on the channel, the private feedback also, it's always welcome. And blessings. Have a beautiful month ahead. And we'll see you next time. Namaste.